What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials and get your membership. It is 50 cents a day. Um, today I wanted to do something real quick and live. I know I've been dropping live after live after live videos, but Studio One Tutorials is still your dedicated space for Studio One Tutorials. It is 50 cents a day. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna I'm, I'm I'm show YouTube some love with some with some Studio One stuff because I'm noticing, um, you know, I did so many Studio One videos that a lot of people are asking about stuff that I already covered and I got new different ways of doing it. So you know, we're gonna go back and just start refilling all that up. Um, so. I did a live stream the other day and it it we talked about um we talked a lot about drums and um and tuning drums and tuning drums is um really fucking important if you're looking to get one a great mix and two just a great overall sound um shout out to uh shout out to hit play for for jumping in the live stream and conversing with us i always i always like talking to him he always has a a, a different and unique perspective on things i love talking to all you guys in the live streams y'all gotta hit me up on these live streams man we have fun but um you know um he was he, he 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 brought up he's like yo i always thought that you know tuning drums was more of an edm thing um because hip-hop is supposed to be raw and rugged and whatever and that is um it's a it, it, it it's a correct sentiment but it's not it, it's the way that you achieve raw and ruggedness isn't through you know um causing uh, you know causing phase issues in the low end um you want to uh you want to kind of you want to kind of get rid of all that stuff so <clears throat> and that's and that's with and that's with every drum even the stuff that lives up high so if you listen if you listen to my drums right now i mean they're fucking you know So, you know, without without hearing the, you know, I wanted to give you guys the final product. Now I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you how these drums sound with without the tuning, right? So, we'll take uh we'll take the kick back to its zero position. The original I I pitched it up 6 semitones, which might sound extreme. Um this snare right here this was uh this went down 4 semitones the hi-hat where's my hi-hat oh god which hi-hat did i use i use this guy yeah this hi-hat we went up we went down four so when you listen to them now You can hear it, especially the kick. The kick is the kick is getting lost up against the 808. Um, it's 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 really muddy. You know the hi hats. The, the hi hats they sound. You know they sound they said they sound okay, but dude, they sound way better down here. So the way the way that I go about doing this is I tune I tune like like my kick and everything. The the kick gets tuned to the root note of the track what the 808 is going to you know what the 808 is going to be playing up against most of the time um i also you know when i do 808 pitches with my kicks i also pitch my um i i run the kicks in a similar pattern sometimes sometimes going up like a fifth and an octave doesn't doesn't sound as good so you know you kind of have to play with that you know i'll use a um you know maybe i'll go up a third a fifth or something like that 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 you really got to do by ear but the way that the way that i get it started is um and i know there's a tutorial on this um shout out to buddy that dropped it i'm um, using the spectrum plugin now the reason why i'm doing another one is because i found i found another way that i liked a lot better and i'll show you how it's a little bit more functional so this spectrum plugin it it, it comes in um, i don't know if it comes in the um 
below um, standard, but the, I have Ableton standard. I don't have Suite. So if 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 you if you look in the presets for this, I was I was going through the presets and I was like, before I never looked at the preset because I'm like, what what kind of fucking preset are you gonna have in a in the spectrum analyzer? And you know that just goes to show being ignorant can cost you some time. So I looked at this pitch and uh, um one right when you just drag the spectrum in here all it does is it gives you um you know this and you play you play your hi-hat and then what i and then what i do is i would go to you know the highest the highest point put my mouse there and then you know right here it'll tell you the pitch wherever the wherever the highest concentration of frequencies is that's the dominant pitch in the sound um so that was cool and that was working out for me and then i saw this preset and i was like what does this do and this brings up a really cool um grid for the spectrum analyzer where it shows you you know the octave and the pitches and the reason why i like this is because it makes it easier to tune i don't have to look at my i don't have to look at my keys or or count backwards or anything like that um i can just say okay these you know these brighter lines right here these are these are c's and then you know you can and these are semitones right here this is the grid so c d d sharp um i'm sorry d sharp e so it, it just it, it just makes it easier to see if i got something down here and i want it to be in c i know i need to go up one two three semitones right so now i listen to you know now we could go through this hi-hat And then boom, I know I know where to go with it. So we'll take the we'll take the kick for example, right? Because I, I I got like two or three hi hat samples going on, so it's it's uh it's not really telling me the truth because it's it's reading both of them. The kick will be easier to see, right? So, but this is basically what I do for for every for every drum sound. If if you program, you know, a drum pattern with some hi hats that you like, for example, like I'll use like three or four different hi hat samples in a uh, you know in a riff and. Uh, you know what I'll do is I'll just highlight you know highlight the other three press zero that'll mute them out on the um you know in the um, piano roll and then you know just that way I could solo them out and just keep doing that if you're working with the drum rack right so here's the kick so you see the focus of it is you know up on uh, up at a right now so I know if I count one two three four five six all right boom now we're now we're over at e okay so now i know i just got to take this transpose go up six and you see the peak of our energy is setting at e octave one which puts us you know in the scale of the track the root note of this track is e it's something written in e minor and you'll notice like if you were doing this by ear what you would listen for if you were manually tuning your kick is you would just wait for the kick to jump out up against the 808 you um the the way that i can identify it doing it strictly by ear is when the kick sounds its loudest and when the kick sounds its loudest that means you've eliminated um whatever phasey mess you were getting into when the kick wasn't tuned to the root note once it's you know once it hits that perfect harmony um and that's another reason why i fine tune my 808s you'll see um you'll see i use this uh i use the tuner and then i and then i'll transpose um i use the detune to get them as close to the center of you know the center of the the tuner as i possibly can and then you hear you hear that that helps the kick stand out even more so now you know that you know there's there's other workarounds that you can do for this like you know you know for side chaining like if you're really in love with the tone of a kick and you don't want to pitch it you know you could side chain it to duck that 808 and that'll help the um 
that'll help the the kick punch through. Um, there's other different methods. You know, you can manly, you can you can adjust the the attack on your um, on your 808 so that so that it kind of sits like this instead of instead of up at a full um, you know at a at a full volume. You know, you can have it roll in like this where your kick has space to run through. That works too. You know, if you're if if you're really stuck in tone, but um, tuning your kicks like this this is something that um and, and your snares and your hi hats and your open hats um this is something that is going to take your drum game to uh, you, you know just a, a, a real industry professional level this is something that mix engineers will do a lot after the fact if you know if they get a track from a producer who um who's who's not really involved in the process you know they'll go ahead and tune their drums for them um but you know, if you if, if you're if you're expecting to compete in the beat space, you know, and and uh, you know, and sell beats, these these types of um, these types of drums are always going to be more attractive to the ear because it is what is just you know laden on the radio and and on um you know and on Spotify and on Tidal and Apple Music and everything is that, like that. It's it's this professional level of drums. So if you can if you can incorporate this in, into your own construction uh, productions, you know, sell it on on your website and stuff like that, you're going to stand out even that much more from people who don't do it. And there is as as far as hip hop and trap is concerned, there is zero um information about you know doing this in such a detailed and um in such a detailed manner and it's sad because it's like it's it, it's like one of them things that these boys are keeping secret but now you know so this is cmp with craftmaster production studio one tutorials.com keep it simple don't be basic and tune your damn drums <laughs>